Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jay Barino, and this is Warcraft 3. We finished up the prologue last time, so let's hit into the actual game, which starts with the human campaign. There are four campaigns. It goes human, undead, orc, night elf, I believe. I'm pretty sure. So, the Scourge of Lordaeron. We have to skip the cinematic, unfortunately. I also want to point out, as you saw on the bottom left there, I am playing on normal. I've said this before. Look, I, I would love to play on hard, but I don't have the background in this game to just go into this and confidently finish hard, and... I think I could do hard, but it would require me to practice some of the missions, and I really just... I, I mean, I hate to use this as an excuse, but look, I, I really just don't have time to do that. These missions can get very long, especially near the ends of each campaign. Some of these missions can run for close to an hour on hard mode. I really just don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm just going to do my best to enjoy this and, and learn, and then maybe one day come back and play it on hard. Anyway, cinematics we can't watch. I explained that in the first episode, but what happens is the Prophet then comes to Lordaeron, which is the human capital city. Well, Lordaeron is actually the name of the nation, and then the prophet goes to the capital city of Lord <laughs> of Lordaeron to warn them, like he did the orcs, hey, you have to leave, get on ships, go to Kalimdor. And the human said, no, we're not going to do that. We're concerned. We're, we're, we're going to defend our own lands. But right now, there's a, a plague that's starting to outbreak in the Northlands, which is the start of this whole campaign here. So here we go, chapter one, the defense of Stronbrad. We're going to get introduced to Arthas, who Look, I'll say it right from the beginning, he's he's just kind of a cunt. I'm just going to outright say it. He seems kind of nice and naive at the beginning, but he's an asshole. Recent orc upbringings in southern Lordaeron have forced the Alliance to take decisive measures. To contain the orcish threat, King Tyrannus has sent two of the realm's greatest paladins, his son Prince Arthas and the legendary Uther the Lightbringer, to deal with the orcs once and for all. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terran has sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Stronbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the orc's base immediately. Can you handle Stronbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. Okay, so now we're playing as the humans. We've got Arthas, who's going to be our our hero for this campaign. I mean, we get a few more thrown in here. Jaina and the dwarf guy later, Bronzebeard, whatever. Uh, okay, so he, we have nothing with him yet. We do have, well, we have Holy Light, but we have no points. Okay, travel to Strombrad. Arthas must survive. Another thing, quests, you can see there's two undiscovered ones. Eventually we can hopefully find out what we need to get those, but... A sound plan. Here we go. I also turned up the sound effects. I'm hopeful that... <coughs> excuse me. I'm hopeful that that will be enough to better hear the cutscenes, because I know in missions 1 and 2, the prologue, it's really challenging to hear. It can be kind of annoying. Of course. Oh, you know what? It's the first mission. I'll take the time. I'll look around to see what we've got here. What are these? Pig. I thought that was a snail for a second. I can. I guess I can see the pig now. Just kind of looking around again. I don't know where any of like the Easter eggs are, and I'll you know I'll look, but I'm. I really just don't know offhand where they are, and especially in the later missions when they get very long and more challenging, I'm not going to be making much of an effort to. To try to find all these things, unless it's a micro mission like this one. Uh, at least at the beginning, it's a micro mission. I I don't even remember if we get a base later or not. Yep, there's nothing up here. There's a little sign. Of course. Cool. All right, so let's go down. So, yes, there are still free orcs that aren't in internment camps and that aren't under thrall that are still hanging out in North Azeroth, and they're a sound trying to kill people, so that's why we're of course. gonna go and try to help people. Honor. Hi, a friend. Oh, hello. Certainly. We did a pick up a scroll plan. of protection. That's pretty cool. Increases the armor of all friendly units in an area around your hero by two for 30 seconds. Does that also increase my hero's Certainly. armor as well? I assume it would. Plan. Greetings, my lord. Hey, Stephanie. How you doing? All right, so I'm just looking around to see if maybe <laughs> there's one of the quests. So these are the optional quests you can go around and pick up. 
Cool, so that's uh, two free footmen. That's awesome. So I thought a bit more about the grunt to footmen. Well, let's go pick up this quest. I'll talk about that. you're my only hope. A group of gnolls kidnapped my little Timmy and took him to their hideout in the forest. Could you find him and bring him home? I'd love to, Alicia. Slay the gnoll kidnappers. So we're still missing one optional quest, right? Undiscovered. Maybe it's up here? I'm not really sure. Uh, it looks like that route up there is actually the way to actually get out of, like, towards the main objective. So let's... Maybe if you weren't such a little bitch about it, Timmy, I'd be more willing to help you. All right, let's just auto-attack in. Hold down alt, and then holy light is T. So how much does that heal for? 200. Okay, well, you're not quite low enough to, to justify heal. You know what? Now you are. Okay, so I'm holding down alt. I can't hit the hotkey and then use it. I actually have to click the button. thanks so much. I have a reward for you. The light is my strength. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Alicia. Certainly. Well, she gave me a ring of protection. That's extra armor. Yes, okay, so I what I was saying is I'm holding alt to look at my hotkeys and then pushing T, but that doesn't... That's actually toggling the mini-map, so unfortunately I have to hit T now. What happens if I hold alt now? Okay, so I have to hit T first, then I can hold alt to see who needs it, and then I can honor. use the spell. Sorry, that's again, this is part of the learning experience to see what's... Of how this works. I am going to destroy these knoll huts just to see if maybe there's something inside of them. I did get that ring of protection. I got a, what is this? Potion of healing. Okay. So numpad uses hero hero inventory. Alright, so I don't really care about the scroll of protection. Maybe if it's near the end of the mission, I'll go ahead and, and use those, but go ahead and destroy these two again. I might as, might as well. It's really early in the campaign. Let's just go ahead and destroy this kind of stuff and see if we can get anything, get Arth Arthas a little beefed up. The more things you kill with Arthas, especially neutral, I almost said neutral creeps. That's a Dota term. Creeps meaning just uh, NPCs that mindlessly attack. Uh, the, so like the neutral creeps like ogres and, and those gnolls, those level up Arthas and then uh, once he gets the next level then you can put some points into it. And now in, in Warcraft 3, there's actually a limit to the amount that you can uh, you can do per level. So like Arthas might only be get to a max of level 2 this mission. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Let's check out over here before we get too far into this mission. I want to see if I want, can pick up that additional quest wherever it might be. We came from up here, so we have to... <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> still coughing. Start crossing in here. It is nighttime. It's a trap! Take everything, man. Take all the valuables. Take all the valuables. Uh, another thing too is I can use holy lights. I can push T and click on the little the little icon down there. Holy lights just a great ability. <laughs> it's it's very very helpful. This probably would have been, would have been a good spot to use uh, scroll of protection, but whatever. Uh, I'm just auto attacking. There we go. What did we get? Scroll of healing. Another one. Actually, no. Scroll of healing. I think. Yeah, that heals everyone around Arthas as opposed to just Arthas, which the a sound potion plan. would do. Certainly. All right, we can't get up there, of so course. let's uh, let's head Certainly. down. Arthas did get a level. We can't put anything into Holy Lights because requires here level three. Divine Shield makes him invincible. It literally just makes him invincible. That's the whole thing. Uh, devotion armor, or uh, additional armor for friendly units. It's a passive. I will go ahead and get that. Bandits are stealing our belongings. I'm coming, friend. We'll take their coin just like everyone else's. All right, let's just auto attack. I'm not going to get a full surround here. Bandits stole my ledger. Without it, I will lose my entire farm. Please retrieve it from their camp. It would mean so much to us. All right, let's go get your stupid ledger. For honor. So more bandits, just really like trivial tasks at the beginning. But again, it's mostly serving to level Arthas up. It looks like he is still being able to gain XP, so maybe we can get him to level 3, or at least the max of level 2, such that he can get to level 3 uh, right at the beginning of the next mission. So the, the XP does carry over from mission to mission. Let's just auto-attack again. Get in there, Arthas. Arthas not doing too much damage, but he's still helpful. These bandits just don't do enough damage to warrant using any any spells. <laughs> Or uh, inventory, I suppose. Alright, let's go get this guy's ledger. Get in there. Honor. That guy is a, a boss. Prayers. Say your prayers. Let's holy light. Certainly. There is a bit of a cooldown on it, plus Arthas uses mana, so you have to be a little cautious. You can't just spam it until Arthas has no mana left. 
All right, let's see if we can kill this guy, and then, well, let's heal this guy up. There we go, he's at full health. The light is my and potion of mana. Of course. And what did we get? Gerard's, okay, so Certainly. we got his lost ledger. Let's destroy the little Betrayal buildings here. Okay, do we want to just 150 mana? Whatever. I don't, I don't care. That's a like a little. It's a like a, a small health pot or a, a mana pot. I'll just use it because I'm almost full. Uh, I think you can sell items. Like if you f there's like little like goblin merchants you can find. You can uh, sell unneeded supplies like that health pot. I don't think Arthas is ever gonna really need per se. I mean, if you're needing to use a health pot, the look, the health scrolls are great, but the health pots, like, if you Justice really need it, it's because your hero's screwed at some point. Like, Seven. all your other units have died, and your hero's getting focused down. I mean, I'm sure it's useful in many situations, but it's more of an oh shit thing. Certainly. Okay, what do you got? You, for helping me. you are so welcome, Please Gerard. Take this item. Did he even for give honor. me an item? A sound he didn't even honor. give me anything. Please, take this item. You asshole. Justice shall be done. Wow, that's that's despicable. Oh wait, there it is. Tome of Strength. I think it just automatically pops it. As you can see, Arthas went from 700 to 725. I think. I might be completely wrong there. Oh god, there's the grunts. The attack has already begun. Two arms, my brothers. So in terms of hit points and just flat attack damage, basically. Uh, three footmen is equal to two grunts. That's basically how that is. So you want to... You have to keep that in mind because grunts... Grunts, though, are three supply. Footmen are two. But in terms of hit points, like, grunts do 18 damage, footmen do 12. So that's like a two to three ratio, right? All right, let's get in and see if we can help some of these people. Apparently not. Wow, that guy just ran those people over. What a dick. No, 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 come back here. No, 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 where are you going, buddy? Come on. All right, yeah, yeah. Attack Arthas. That's good. We want we want him to attack Arthas. We can't even we can't save any of the people in this town apparently. All right, how you doing, buddy? 419 out of 420. What about you? 266. Once you get down to 220, we'll use uh holy light to get you back to full health. For honor. I guess I could destroy the buildings in this town to look for items, but I mean like I'm supposed to be defending the town, so I'm not gonna just like try to destroy things in it. Let's. This is probably the way to go. I'm gonna. I just want to look around, because these these videos are so short. I might as well check all around. For honor, of course. Oh, more footmen. This is good. What do you need? Oh, good. We got three more footmen. That's actually fantastic. We can get in and help them again. You got to be not necessarily cautious, but as long as you have you can outnumber the grunts, then you're in good shape. Normal and normal. So their attack type is the same as well. So yeah, I would say it's just a direct two to three ratio, two grunts per three footmen when you take the, su the supply differences into account. So from that perspective, you don't want to do a footman against a grunt. The footman's going to lose. But in greater numbers, footmen are exact, like, as over time, as your numbers increase, footmen are exactly equal to two grunts. And in, in, in fact, I would rather take beefy units like footmen. I mean, they're not really beefy, but I would take, I would take units that are more melee, like upfront tanky units that take less supply because I want to use that supply for better units later, like at the the higher tech trees. And I'll be honest, I'm I'm so unfamiliar with this game because again I've only played it once. Um, I'm so unfamiliar that I don't even know what some of the upper tier units are for all the races. Like I know a lot of the tier one stuff, but the upper tiers I haven't really used much. All these wretches off with the rest of them. Move them out. So I assume now we're going to have to go try to save those people. Let's go. Yeah, indeed. A sound plan. All right, so let's... This guy is uh, the slave master. Let's let's focus on uh, trying to keep alive. I'm just going to use uh, Holy Light on whoever he is hitting. So this guy. There we go. I'm sort of expecting... Um, because I think in, in Dota, Arthas is Omni Knight. And uh, Omni Knight has the same ability where he... He can heal, but units around the healed unit take damage as well. And I'm expecting that to happen, even though that's definitely not happening. Let's keep healing this guy. So he's our tank. It would have been nice if we could have got Arthas into tank, but it seems like the AI is smart enough to go for weak units. Is that? That's probably it. That's probably the whole mission. I mean, it's mission one of the first campaign. Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Shut the fuck up, Daniel. 
Prince Arthur, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. The little kids in this game sound like... I almost said retards. I apologize. They sound like exceptional individuals. No, they just sound really stupid. Like, walk it back to her to get what taking you away. Stupid little kid. All right. This has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. When we come back, I don't even know. I can't even say that in this series because I don't even know what the next mission is going to be. All right. I hope you're enjoying this series. I really appreciate the positive feedback that I've received so far. I will see you next time. Bye.